Sports coverage continues. The Bruins ready to go here on the ice this evening. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Bruins are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Sends it down low. Good check. Frees the puck up. Moves it in front. Picked off in front. Konechny's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. McAvoy is a solid player in the D zone, guys. His stick em up zone ability means he can use a timely poke check to disrupt his opponent's attack. Philadelphia's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Great stop by Omar. McAvoy's moving the puck through his own zone. And that's knocked away by York. Moves it to Konechny. The Flyers carry it along the wall. There's a big hit in the corner. Answered the call on that play. McAvoy's picking up steam. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Battle along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Frost. The Flyers have it now. Here's a short pass to York. The Flyers played along the boards. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to McAvoy. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. From the point, they take control of it. Hammers the shot. Answers the call with a big save. Handles the puck. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Picked off by Konechny. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. The Bruins take possession on the defensive end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puck grab by Cates. And he takes the pass. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. And he's knocked off the puck there. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Off a stick, and they can't connect. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And that's off the club and will play on. Boston's moving it along the wing. Great reach with the poke check by Ristolainen. Frederick's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here comes the sentence. The Bruins will lose a man tripping the call. The Flyers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Puck clear from the defensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Puck picked up by Atkinson. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. They clear the zone. The Flyers will play it in their own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Puck scooped up by Atkinson. Made the stop on that play. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Quick pass to Saka. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Konechny's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. 
A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Farabee's got it along the wing. Poked away by Fordor. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Takes a shot. Can't get it to go. Now a quick pass to Shattenkirk. The Bruins will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this PK unit. There. Oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Nice zone entry on the left side. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Takes that pass back at the point. Let's it rip, and they score! of this power play. It's all about puck movement, and when you're going to let a shot go, you want to make sure that there's traffic net front, and that's exactly what happens. The goaltender screen, and they find the back of the net. Boston's finally opened the scoring here in the first. Now let's see how both teams respond, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of just playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if they're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. you got to play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter half of this period. Philadelphia's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck at center. And it goes off a stick and off to the side. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Off the glass, but not out. Uh, your job as the PK unit is when that puck gets on your stick. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Coils at the face-off dot, ready to win this, draw the man advantage. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Nice zone entry from the middle. Solid hit on that play. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. How did he stop that one? Oh, wow, stops the game. Just a smothering attack here in the offensive end. And listen to this place light up. Takes it and looks ahead. The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Turn that one aside. Hart's all over that shot and makes an incredible save, getting to the top of his crease quickly, because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the slot. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. The Flyers have it against the wall. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. And he slides it quickly to DeBrusque. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Geeky. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Boston's got it now. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Philadelphia has won the faceoff deep in their own end. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Couturier's penalty is almost expired. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Poked away in the offensive zone by Van Riemsdyk. Both sides are even though as the power play has expired. Well, the PK does a great job. And when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. The Bruins have it from their own end. Here they come on the attack. Taken by Couturier. Philadelphia's in transition. Strong defensive effort. There's a firm collision. Moves it to Shattenkirk. Philadelphia's got possession here in the offensive zone. And he denied him there. And that's off target as it hits a body. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play.
just here in the late stages of this frame. Boston's up one zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Handles the puck from the left side with authority. The Flyers gain the zone. Here's a shot. Puck goes off the glove. player that knows the importance of retrieving pucks to keep the play going, guys. His no-contest zone ability means he goes into those 50-50 puck battles and more often than not, wins possession. Here's a short pass to tip it. And too much traffic in front walks that oh. way. Boston's ready to go on the attack. And the puck skips away after that move. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Here's a chance! Makes the easy save with the glove. And there's another stop! You know the goalie dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Penalty coming up here. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You gotta find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 one, one, where they were able to capitalize. So they're opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Picked up along the wall by DeBrusk. Moves the puck down low. The Flyers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Denies him in close. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Late in the period in a close game, a top penalty to take James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. The Bruins with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. The long five on three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. Coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it or you have to fire it. Denied that one. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Couturier's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Saka's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Hart's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Sackas ready to take the draw here on this power play. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. Great hits up play with the stick by Couturier. Hart's going to hang on for a whistle. Late goings of this period. Boston's ahead, 1-0. Palin's running off the face-up. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Hart's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Palin's recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. Boston's won the face-off. Quick feed for McAvoy. Stones him on the play. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Marchand's got him in the offensive zone. And the And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. The Bruins extend the lead to 2 0 here, and we're still only in period number one. Well, they've really dictated pace in this one. They've owned the puck, and in the offensive zone, they're putting pucks to the net at will, and they're just dominating in terms of their shot selection. Final minute of pro 
approaching here in this opening frame. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Hart. Broken up by Cates. Zaka has made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Philadelphia's got possession at center. Boston's got control of the puck. And all the on the breakaway. But he can't pull the trigger on the play. Uh, because he skated himself into no man's land, ran out of real estate and gets nothing for it. Think he'd like that one back. McAvoy's got the puck. Sends the pass over. No room for that one to get through. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Desperately trying to get the puck out of their own end. And they succeed in getting it out. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes. up and out of play. The Bruins continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And the Pucks kick three. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Moves the puck across to Couturier. Here's a pass in front. And that's stopped. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Philadelphia is trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And it comes up with a stop there. Look at this attack here in the ozone. zone. Oh, what a stop right there. Keep it a minute. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Face-off coming up. They can smell blood here, I think. Yeah, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender, he was under seas, James, and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And it's a quick pass to Marchand. Now he takes it over the line, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. He grabs the puck here at the point. Cates gains the line and into the offensive zone. Shot! and he keeps it out. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Good hit on the play. Good stand-up hit on the play. Moves it quickly over to Frost. Moves the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. And he takes the feed. Drives to the paint. Boston's got it in their own zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Van Riemsdyk. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Boston's got a 2-0 lead. The Bruins win the draw here in the neutral zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. We gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. As we're about to drop the puck, power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on 
this setup. And man, is it working tonight. Lawton's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Philadelphia's won the defensive zone draw. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Takes the feed from his own end. From the right side and up the middle. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Moussa Kiki. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Somehow knocked away by the goalie on that one. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Boston's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And a great read to turn that play aside. Hart's save percentage has been excellent, and he's doing everything to stand tall in the crease. Now it's time for his team to start playing for him. they got to get going north, but the first thing they need to do is retrieve the puck and stop chasing the game. Forster's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Coyles won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Lays into the body. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate and do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Drills them. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Lindholm. The Flyers get a hold of the puck under man. And they get the puck out. Puck grab by Forster. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. And he slides it quickly to Van Riemsdyk. The Bruins are on the attack. Drives it to the crease! Oh, what a stiff save! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Here's a short pass to Pasternak. Philadelphia's got possession while undermanned. Gets it out of his own end. Slides it on over to McAvoy. Philadelphia's back to even strength. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference, and you don't. It's frustrating, and it's a real momentum killer. Reaches out and uses the stick. And it's kicked away. Taken along the wall by Marchand. Big save. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Zaka. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Boston's in on the offensive attack now. A chance in front, and he shoots here tonight when you look at the scoreboard, Cheryl, but they're not taking the foot off the gas. Well, they're not, and every time they have an opportunity to shoot, they're putting it to the net, and a lot of confidence for every player here when they get the puck into that offensive zone, the reason why they've got such a heavy lead. Quick feed to Laupo. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And scores! Time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Couturier scudded against the boards. And he takes the feed. Dumps the puck in. Philadelphia's got the puck. 
Grabbed along the boards by Stahl. Couturier's got it in the defensive end. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Quick pass to McAvoy. Handles the pass. Dumps it into the Ozone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Philadelphia is looking to break out. Sends the feed in front. Picked off in front. Philadelphia's got possession here in the neutral zone. Picked up along the boards by Sanheim. Nice feed from the right wing. The Flyers take possession here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Cates. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. They go on the attack through center. Quick shot! And that goes off course off a of body. Scooped up along the wall by Cates. Atkinson swooping in on the attack. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Feeds the puck across to Lindholm. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Hart. Heinen's got the puck from the back end. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come. Takes a shot. Teed up and turned away on his part. Boston's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. Philadelphia's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Puck picked up by Frederick. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Works it across to Coyle. And that one stopped. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Sends it quickly to Paling. The Flyers take it along the wall. Sends the pass down low. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more tomorrow. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. It has certainly been a one-sided affair tonight, and we are underway in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Philadelphia's looking a little frustrated here, James, and I understand why. Listen, you have a ton of grade-A scoring chances. You're playing really well. You're opening up lanes. You just can't find the back of the net. This is when you have to trust your habits, stick with the game plan, and you'll find a way to put it by. Moves it to Pasternak. Allmark's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the complete level that energizes everyone around him. Down the right side and into the zone. Slides the puck down low. Takes the feed. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. And now he moves it quickly to York. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Footsteps, James, because he's been doing it all night long. I mean, it is intentful, but it's clean. He's been throwing down the hits all game long. Here's a short pass to Heinen. Penalty coming up. Whistle stops the play. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Man, is it 
have been effective. Now a quick pass to Lawton. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Quick feed to Kiki. Stops him with a glove. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. Forster's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Clock has dropped and we are back underway. And he slides it quickly to Cates. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. So they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. The Bruins probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Boston's got it in the wrong zone. Picked up along the wall by Marchand. Quick pass to Tippett. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. Hathaway's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. The Bruins offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Boston's taking possession in their own end. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. Puck dumped in. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Moves the puck up to Atkinson. Moves it around along the half wall. Great save, played it perfect. Broke it up with the stick in the defensive end. Taken along the wall by Van Riemsdyk. We got a penalty coming up here. Moves it to Atkinson. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Running interference plays as part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two-minute interference call. The Flyers once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Boston's going to start with the puck in their own end. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. And he moves it up to Couturier. Along the half wall with the puck. Great poke by Atkinson. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Takes the feed. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Shot! Oh, that's a that's Right on the doorstep! The rebound there to be had! And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Philadelphia's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Couturier's won the draw inside the neutral zone. Shuts him down. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. 
The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Marchand. Fires it, and that one's denied. The Bruins' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Battle along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Marchand. Oh, what a hit along the wall. Yeah, that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Turned aside with the glove. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. The Bruins take it along the wall. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Faraby stick handling in his own zone. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Sandheim. And he takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Right up the gut into the offensive end. The Flyers have the puck in the corner. Scores! And they get one back here. I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Taken by McAvoy. On the attack along the boards. And that pass goes off a stick. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. And he takes the dish. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Cates looks around. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Great forecheck by Stahl. Philadelphia has been outmatched and simply dominated throughout this whole game. They just didn't look ready right from puck drop. You know that their coach is not going to be impressed. The bench is really quiet. It's going to be a somber evening, in particular in the dressing room right after this game. Quick feed to Atkinson. There's a save using his chest on the play. The Bruins are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Zach has won the draw here in their own zone. Grizzlick's lugging the puck. And it's a quick pass to Pasternak. Takes the pass into the middle of the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Lawton. Huge steal in his own end. Lawton's got it into offensive territory. Sends the pass in front. He scores! What a play! This is just a great shot, James. The delivery so quick of a release that beats the goaltender clean. has got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. And now it's grabbed by Sealer. Shot! And that's blocked in traffic. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The Flyers take over on possession. Philadelphia is playing it from the side. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop by Omar. Here's a shot. Great reflexes. Another save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. They win the draw and go on the attack. Oh, what a save with the glove. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Here in the late goings of the period, 
Philadelphia is still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Slides the puck over. Well, you're leading late in the game. You've got to find a way to kill the clock. You know what the best thing is to do? Make sure it's not in your zone. That takes the pressure off, and that's a smart dump right there. Picked off by McAvoy. Nearing the final minute of the third. Here's a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. Couturier's won the draw. The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Long lead pass into the open ice. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh! And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. It is all over. The Bruins took full advantage of their special teams tonight. James, there's two things on a power play. You have to be able to get in and set up and then to find ways to attack. And that's exactly what they did today. They executed, they capitalized, and the reason why they were successful. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team. And it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. That'll do it for tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.